chess and anal beads. What do these two have in common? Well, let me serve you dessert first and get choked on the story. The cheating allegations involve high tech anal beads up a chess grandmaster's ass, telling him the best possible move in chess to beat his opponent. So, yeah, it's a wild fucking ride. Suna Nocho, the greatest player of all time in chess, Magnus Carlsen was competing in a tournament against Hans Niemann, a 19 year old boy from America. I mean, no disrespect to Hans, his strong player energy and but on paper, he's nowhere near the level of Magnus. So, we have Magnus the GOAT with an advantage versus seeing Hans, the lowest rated player in the tournament. This should have been Magnus's easiest to win by far. But the universe had other plans. And the result? Against all odds, Hans won. If Hans's win wasn't good enough, then his interview after definitely was. He essentially said that it was a miracle that he had studied the exact line Magnus played in the game. Which if you don't know chess, essentially saying that he studied the exact opening the first 20 moves or so that Magnus was about to play and practice the best moves against him. Which is entirely possible and does happen in chess, but the problem is that Magnus only played that game once out of 3000 games. And then the next day, Magnus tweets out that he's dropping out of the tournament with the famous meme, if I speak, I'm in big trouble, kind of hinting some foul play going on. And then on top of that, Chess.com bans him for his previous cheating in online games, which to be fair to Hans, he did say that he did cheat when he was 16, but only to get his rating up so he can verse better players, but yeah. And finally, we had Magnus Carlsen putting out a whole statement on Twitter, essentially accusing Hans of cheating. And then we had Mr. Beast uh, commenting something like, we should check his ass or some shit. <laughs> Alright, so now we have everyone in the chess community against Hans accusing him of cheating, but how? Well, it turns out the event's organiser being is a live stream with high tech security. At least that's what we think. What they do is they take, make you take off your shoes in case you have something in them, and they also like scan your body with a device, I don't know what the fuck it's called, but a device. In case you're carrying something that can help you cheat. But guess what they don't check? You ask, that's right. They don't do an anal cavity check, I mean why would they? They don't expect you in a million years to have something up there. So, this is where the theory actually has some merit to it. What it could do is that the anal risk could be micro controlled using Wi Fi or something and have a vibration motor inside of it, controlled by a third party in America or whatever, a friend of Hans, telling him the best move in Morse code, and Hans can feel the vibrations in Morse code and play the exact move against Magnus. So, where do I come and play? I am the crazy motherfucker who's gonna create this project and make it come alive. I am gonna create this high tech and innovation and prove to you that this theory can actually work and has some possibility to it. And this will change chess forever. <laughs> The problem is, I've never studied robotics, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So I just searched up how to make a vibrator, hoping there was a step-by-step -step guide, but to my disappointment, there wasn't. So all I did know was Arduinos. I've heard of the name before, and I knew it was something to do with robotics. So I did a whole search and researched about it and found out that Arduino Nanos are small microcontrollers that are compact, exactly what we need it for, and have sensors that you can attach it to, and it has a built-in Wi-Fi. So it checks all the boxes that we need and I'm gonna build this whole operation around it. So it turns out I still don't know jack shit about Arduinos, but what I did find is a cool website called Tinkercad, which allows me to simulate Arduinos and the components to test shit out. So I hooked up a component of a brushing motor and made it work in a circuit or test of a button and I found all these parts online and waited for them to arrive. The rectangular shape of the Arduino makes it hard for it to fit in the circumference of the anal beads because to fit it, it will have to be too big, which we can't afford. But guess where it can fit? That's right, the penis. No, not Hans' penis, but a penis that will be designing as a forefront of the anal beads hollow enough to fit inside the Arduino and to fit as other components. Genius. So what I plan to do is have coin cell batteries which are about 20 millimeters and connect them in series to the Arduino. But how do I design around this? That's right, balls. So what I plan to do is have 3D hollow balls which are open, big enough to fit the coin cell batteries inside of them and connect using a ball and socket joint. This is my Mona Lisa. So I have the forefront of a design, the penis, and it's an open design, so it closes using a snap fit, so it can fit the Arduino inside of it first. And this is how it looks like. So it has the bone socket joint at the end of it, so it connect to the other coin batteries. And see how the design is hollow? So this means it can fit the wire throughout connecting the coin batteries together. 
and this is the housing for the coin batteries and this also opens in half to fit the coin battery side of it first and close so obviously you're not putting an actual battery up your ass well you are but it's enclosed <laughs> Here it is, the 3D prints, the inner beads all together. We've got the cock and balls to open and close to fit the Arduino and the batteries. First up, the big boy Arduino. Second, we've got the vibration sensor, the batteries, the resistor, and finally the transistor. But Harsh, why have you ordered the Arduino and a beer lead instead of the Arduino and the IT, which is wiper capability which a beer does not? Well, listen here, no one fucking likes you, and second, because it was out of stock everywhere I looked for. So, when you're working on the next generation's fine edge cutting technology, you have to work with what you're given with. So, all it is, I'm testing this first using the LED built in the Arduino, but I start with advertising the Bluetooth of the Arduino so any device can connect to it. It has two inputs. The first input is a beep or a dot in Morse code. So this means it lights up the LED for one second. The second input is byte 2 and this means that it'll light up the LED for three seconds or otherwise a dash in Morse code. I'm writing to the Arduino one values and two values. Repeat it sequentially in order of the Morse code. For example, if it's an A, it'll be a dot and dash. And it'll go through the dot and dash, and if it's dot first, it'll say, oh, I found a dot, export one. And then it'll find a dash, oh, I found a dash, I'll put two. So this will make it a, be a one second blink, and then a three second blink. Exactly what we needed to do. So, this worked when I connected to a laptop, and the code actually ran perfectly fine. But when I try to connect to a battery, which is the whole fucking point of it being portable, the anal beads and a battery just didn't run. So there was a while loop. I said, while not serial, the code just wouldn't run. So time for a test. So the way this works is that I'll be connecting my laptop to the Arduino using my Python script. And once it's found a connection, it'll be able to be ready to enter a best chest move and I'll put that using Morse code. So right now I'll demonstrate KC3, which means night moving to C3. And now it'll translate the exact move in Morse code. And the difference is right now for testing, it'll be LED, but in the actual product, it'll be the actual vibration motor that's buzzing in the same sense and pattern as the Morse code is right now. So, happy days. That's it, it works, it fucking works. <laughs> I ordered a vibration sensor in thinking that it was a motor that vibrates. A vibration sensor. <laughs> All right, we've got the soldering done. The components are in place where they're meant to be. And it was working when I plugged in the power, the vibration motor, so that's a good thing. Uh, now all that's left is to make sure that the vibration motor turns on and off when it's supposed to. So let's get that done. Uh-oh, turns out vibrating not good, vibrating bad, vibrating very bad. It doesn't stop vibrating. I don't know why, there's no current in the transistor. The schematics are the same. It works on the simulation. Why the f- It fucking works. All right, so what was wrong? This MK transistor wasn't working, so it was literally like flowing to like a battery. That's why the vibrator wasn't stopping vibrating, but it works. I said it between premature yesterday, so it could have all been avoided. But the good thing is, it works, baby. All right, here it is, it finally works. Now all I have to do is enter the best move, KC3, in the keyboard, and it'll vibrate in Morse code in this frequency that's required. Oh, it's great. I can't believe just a week ago, I knew nothing about Arduinos, but I had a dream, high-tech anal beads, and here we are, a week later, to a actual working product. Now, all that's left is a first someone in tournament and prove that you can use it, and that's it, done. Introducing the world's very first high-tech anal beads, available in different sizes and colors. So it doesn't matter if it's loose or tight, we've got you covered. The future of chess is about to change forever. 
All right, here's the plan. We're gonna test out the anal chest beats. Um, and the way we're gonna do it, I don't know how to do a full move checkmate, right? So he's gonna try to make a trap for me to actually capitalize and make the full move checkmate. And we'll see if these actually vibrate and I can figure out how to make the right moves. Let's go. It's in, it's not in, but I'm sitting on you know, it. You're meant to be white for the full move checkmate. Though. And we have a third party. My friend could be anywhere in the world watching the game given that it's live streamed and would have Chester come open and replicate the game as it goes on. And essentially we're pinning the opponent against an unbeatable computer and we make the same moves as the computer which is communicated to me in vibrations through my ass in Morse code. Alright, let the go. games begin. Let's Full go. move checkmate. I don't even know what to start but if it vibrates, I'll be able to figure it out. Mm. Wait, you're assuming. Alright. That's E4. Let's go. Five. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Bishop C4. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Bishop C4. Bishop C4. Alright. That was Bishop C4 in Moscow. Alright, let's go. Shit, okay. 96. Just developing, developing my thesis. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oblivious to the fact that we've got a master at work. Alright. So this is vibrating, man. So you guys are on quite a lot, bro. Mm. bro like, what what are you picking engine for, bro? Still need to form it. Q H5, alright. Looking for the piece. What's after the Q? <laughs> <laughs> well, all the way is better, actually. Mm. Oh. Alright, let's go. Okay, so your queen's out. I'm just gonna attack it. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Sweep it, maybe go for it. Knight of six, attack the queen. Oh, nice. I'm gonna win. Hmm, let's see. And I need to feel some it's vibrations. Okay. I need to feel some vibrations. I, you just have to retreat the queen. Okay. At this point. It's being attacked. Mm -hmm. Is your friend me? Is no, 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 it's just, um, it's having some vibrations, you know, but it's my vibe, it's my oh, vibe, yeah, it's my vibe. I mean, either way, you're lost, because your queen has to Oh, shit. shit. I'm... Alright. Excellent. Excellent move, I think, uh, I, that's a checkmate. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think that's a checkmate. Oh, mate. Oh, so... <laughs> Alright, oh. good game. Game! I wow. wasn't cheating at all. Yeah. <laughs>